Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol Dadiva. Today I'm going to be installing a wig in my hair and this will be very easy because it's a 4x4 wig. Before I start, I'm going to brush my hair out and then I'm going to use some got to be glued styling gel to lay my hair down. This is the got to be glue styling gel I'm going to use to lay my hair down. I'm laying my hair down starting from the back because I want to apply the gel in layers. This way I'll get more gel into my hair and it will work just like I want it to. The reason why I'm using gel to hold my hair down instead of braiding it or anything like that is because it's faster and easier, especially because my hair is short. I use a hair tie to hold it in the back and this I could take out later on or I could leave it the way it is because I'm going to be doing curly hair. I also went ahead and brushed it down some more and this wasn't really needed but I want it to be nice and flat under my stocking cap so I went ahead and do that. Now I'm going to tie my hair down and leave it to dry. Now my hair is completely dry and ready for my wig install. Y'all see my face? This is because I really like it. This is my first time doing it like this and I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my stocking cap on because that's the first thing you do when you're going to put a wig on, right? You put a stocking cap on, get it all ready make it look scalp like i am not gonna do a ball cap though let me just point that out i'm just gonna put the stocking cap on and work with it this is the wig they sent me guys not in a box don't ask me why it's not in a box i don't know why and the name is not on the tag either however this wig is from kiss hair the length is 28 inches it's a 4x4 lace closure jerry curl wig as you can see on the lace it's not pre-bleached so i'm gonna do my thing and customize it the way i like it the wig comes with two clips in the sides and also another one in the back of it as you can see here. The first thing I'm going to do is put this wig on just to see what I may need to do before securing it onto my head. So far I can see that it has its own baby hair which I really like and I won't have to do anything to that. And I'm not going to be plucking it either since I'm going to be doing a center part. Now it's time to take this off and customize this baby. Since I'm not going to be bleaching it, I'm going to use my foundation on it to give it that natural look I'm going for. But before I do that first, I'm going to go ahead and add some onto my stocking cap. This is what it looks like now that I added the foundation on it. Now I'm all ready to put the wig on and secure it to my head. To secure my wig on today, I'm going to be using my got to be glue free spray as usual. So this is what I'm going to do. This is how I do it. First, I'm going to spray it on and dry completely. And I'm going to be spraying it on more than once. So just watch and see. I'm spraying it on again for the second time. And I like to call this my second layer, which is going to be the last layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lace down on it and dry completely. Here I'm just brushing all the hair back with this comb just so I don't cut none of it off when I'm cutting the lace off.
Here I'm cutting the lace off using the scissors that I got from Amazon. I actually really like the scissors. It's small but it gets the job done. After cutting the lace off, I like to seal the edges to prevent lifting and to do so I like to use my got to be glue styling gel. I like to use the tail of the comb to apply the gel because for some reason it just works out and get the gel exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to take some baby hair out, not because it's needed, but just because it's cute and I like it. I'm also going to be cutting them just so they lay properly instead of brushing them back into the rest of the hair like I usually do. And to lay them down, I'm using my mousse and also the got to be glue styling gel. And now that I've done that one, I'm moving on to the other side to do another one. Now that I got the edges out the way, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a scent of art. I'm using the mousse on it to open up the parting a little bit. Another thing I'm going to do with the parting is squeeze away some of the hair to make it have a more natural look to it. If you're not very experienced with this, I would advise that you go ahead and skip this step. You could also use foundation to help to open up the parting. And the reason why I say this is because you can pluck too much from the parting and then it looks like you have a ball spot and you don't want that. And that can be fixed also, but I feel like it's better not having that to worry about. You know what I'm saying? So just skip that step if you're not very good at it. So even though I plucked some of the hair from the parting, I still went ahead and add some foundation on it because I like to do whatever it takes to make my wig look as natural as I can get it. I'm going to be tying down the edges of this wig including baby hair and all and this is the reason why I'm putting it up in a ponytail. What I'm using here is an elastic band and you can find this on Amazon. Mine has the velcro on it because I find that this works so much better for me than having to tie it at the back. To define my curls, I'm spraying a lot of water on it and I'm gonna get it nice and wet and by the time I'm done doing my makeup, it's gonna be, you know, exactly how I want it looking refreshed and my curls gonna be looking so juicy. Also using my Pantene hydrating buttercream on it and this is one of my favorite things to use when I'm doing my you know my curly wigs or you know whatever hairstyle I'm doing whatever wig style I'm doing that this can go on I'm using it on it. Now I'm all done with installing the wig, styling the wig, so there's only one thing left to do and that's doing my makeup and I will be back to show you guys the finished look. Kapow!
this is the finished look guys what do you think i really love this wig and it was so easy to go on just because it's a four by four lace wig the curls are amazing too let's not forget that and it did not take a lot to bring them back to life check out the back guys how full it is and how bouncy these curls are i mean what more can you ask for in a curly wig like this it's amazing i really don't have anything bad to say about this wig i did get a little bit of shredding but usually with curly wig that is to be expected i will leave all the information on this here down below so definitely check the description box for that as usual if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that also if this is your first time on my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye